driving me bonkers. And this is like a huge tip for anyone who uses Facebook. If there's a difference between your Facebook account being hacked and somebody who's created a duplicate Facebook account using your information. Mm. Like you will see this. And I see this a lot with folks will be like, Hey, if you get a friend with requests from me, I, it's not me because I've been hacked. You not, it, you haven't necessarily been hacked where it's definitely, if you, if, if someone tells you that you, you sent a, a friend request and they thought, well, I thought we were already friends. It doesn't necessarily mean you were hacked. They took the information that you have out there publicly, spoofed an account, which is essentially created a second Facebook account using like your photo, maybe a little bit of your information. They start friending people, you know, and then it cascades, you know, oh, you're friends with Sorg, so you might be, you know, maybe Katie got a new account and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. But it doesn't necessarily mean you've been hacked. I did that. With that being said, like I said, change your password. If you feel any sort of like there's, you know, if it's been a while, if you feel like your data has been compromised, definitely change your password. But it doesn't necessarily mean that your page was hacked. And if you get a friend request, for example, if I get a friend request from a Michael Sorg and I'm like, hmm, I'm already friends with Michael Sorg, feel free to message that friend, message them, say, hey, I just got a friend request from you. I'm not sure if this is you. You're, and then Mike, Michael Sorg will say, hey, that's not me. I didn't create another pit post or another page. You can report that other page as essentially impersonating your friend. So it'll, Facebook will ask you, you know, who is this page impersonating? And then you tag Michael Sorg and Facebook will say, thank you for this report. We'll contact Michael Sorg and we'll look into this. And most time that other page goes away pretty quickly because they realize that it's just somebody just making a copycat page. So don't feel like, you know, I see a lot of like people freaking out and going, oh my gosh, my, you know, my page has been hacked or, oh my gosh, um, it's sending, you know, posting a thousand messages of like sending or posting on your friend's page going, oh my gosh, did you know this? Did you know this? Take the, the a couple seconds, go on the page, say that it's not so-and-so, you know, it's an impersonation and uh, Facebook will get that taken care of. There you go. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> I, I've seen oh, that a lot, good. especially lately. Mm -hmm. And I haven't seen it. I haven't noticed it at least. I mean, sometimes it's like people posting sunglass ads on, on groups that we have mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So. You're like, wait, that's not you. Are yeah, you? yeah. I was like, why are you? Are you a are you a sunglasses connoisseur in the middle of winter all of a sudden? Um, yeah. yeah. But yeah, we should also say never click on links you get from folks and messages if you don't know what that link is. That's always huge, though, too. That's that 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 still goes across mm -hmm. the board. Don't feel bad about asking your friend, what is this link that you have sent me? It's totally okay. It's not being rude. 